Hi, I'm Giancarlo. And I'm Felicia. And this is our review of Ninja, Legend of the Scorpion Clan. So like it's a bunch of scorpions together, basically? That's fine. And they're ninjas. What? <laughs> what did you say? That fight because they're ninjas. Like scorpions. Yeah. Like. Fine. And then they get big. Yeah, they do. Oh, for reals. For reals. Shitless. For reals. Dude. Wow, I know this is bored to death. The, the peanut, ghetto version. Yeah, the peanut gallery is calling me ghetto. That's always lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the peanut gallery, uh, you John know, Carlo? You got, you got, that, you got that bulk shit. It's pretty ghetto there. <laughs> in ninja a player and his accomplice will try to steal the family treasure while the other player tries to stop them by controlling the guards around the house in the box you find the board which has the house in the center and a wall around it there's also a moat surrounding the fortress 27 plastic figurines representing guards samurais intruders the traitor and two lanterns 58 playing cards divided into three decks. The Lion Clan for the guards, the Red Scorpion for the ninja, and the Black Scorpion for the trader. Map pads for the ninja to move in secret and keep track of where he is, and finally small screens to keep the map private. The game ends when the ninja completed his mission and escaped alive, or if he takes too long and the cover of night is gone. Here's how to set up the game. Put a lantern on the nun spot of the alarm track and another lantern on the turn one of the turn track. Decide which player will be ninja and which player will be the guards. Shuffle the mission deck and give one mission to the ninja and one mission to the guards. Each mission card represents a room inside the house represented by a letter. Now the ninja player must choose 8 of the 12 cards of his ninja and 7 of the 10 cards for his trader. These are the ninja player's hand. The guard player now chooses 24 of the 36 cards and this will be his initial hand. The rest of the cards are shuffled to make a draw deck. Now the guard player will place 8 sentries on the guard posts of the board and make 3 patrol units of 2 guards each and place them anywhere on the patrol track facing the right direction. The player now marks his map with sleeping guards inside of the barracks. The guard player also marks the letters A to F on his map, 3 letters in each castle. 2 traps are also placed marked with the letter T and finally 2 hidden sentries inside the castle marked with the letter H. Now it's time for the ninja to set up his starting location on his map. He chooses a spot around the board and writes zero on it. This is where he will start. Finally, the ninja marks the two entrances of the secret passage and marks X at each entrance. Now that the maps have been prepared and both players have their starting strategy, the mission can begin. Here's the turn order. The first phase is alert. Check the alert track and the guard player draws cards according to the level. Then the level drops by one. The second phase is guard's action. The guard player now plays cards to do actions. The third phase is for the guards to move his patrols. And finally the ninja has his turn and the round ends. Here are the phases in detail. In the alert phase the guard player will shuffle all discarded cards into the guard deck. Then he will place his hand face down on the table and draw cards according to the alarm level. After drawing cards decrease the alert level. Now the guard player can use the cards he just drew to do actions. Only one card per guard or sentry can be used. You can play a listen card to see if your guard heard something. If a ninja moved three spaces last turn, then the guard, which are up to three spaces away from the ninja, now heard something. So as the ninja, the more you move in one turn, the more likely you're making more noise. If the guards hear something, the ninja player must tell the guard player which guard heard the noise, but not tell him where the ninja is. Now that guard or patrol can move two spaces in any direction to search for the ninja. The trader can also play cards like It was a cat! which cancel the guard traps and listen cards. During the first phase, you can also play search cards to zero in on the ninja. The next phase is the guard cards phase. The guard player simply draws back his hand which he had put face down at the start of his turn and can now play an additional two cards. Now it's the patrol phase. Basically all the units which did not do anything move two spaces along the patrol track. Now it's time for the ninja and trader to do their secret movement. You can sneak, walk, or run. Sneak is one space, walk is two, and running is three spaces. You mark this on your map using numbers and underlying once for walk and twice for running. You can climb over walls using rope cards. 
If you pass through a room inside a castle during your movement, you can tell the guard player that you searched those rooms, without telling him in what order or where you currently are located. The guard player then reveals what's in those rooms. It could be mission cards, traps, hidden sentries, etc. If it's a mission card and it's the mission of the ninja, the mission is completed. Traps raise the alert level by 1. If a sentry was found, place a guard figure and raise the alert to high. Once a mission is complete, that intruder must try to escape the fortress by exiting the board. The game ends when both intruders are killed or when the 20th turn ends. To win, the intruders must both escape the board with their mission completed. The game is a fun two-player game, but it can also be played with three or four players. The rulebook comes with some variant rules and explains everything quite well. It's not a complicated game, but there's a lot of strategy involved. The production quality is really nice and if you're looking for a hidden movement type of game with the ninja samurai theme, then look no further. The tension is always high and using the secret passage to lower the threat level is always fun, just don't let the guards find it. We've had some good experiences playing this game with memorable events and we're giving it a 7 out of 10. Each game is completely different.